Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisidu. In this installment in the Calculus series, I'm going to discuss the thousand most interesting integrals. Though algebra, geometry, calculus, and later number theory and group theory are usually studied as separate branches of mathematics, most students don't realize that these seemingly disparate fields are intimately interconnected. Periodically throughout this series, I will explore some of these interconnections. So let's begin with interesting integral number 1000. First, let's rewrite the integral in exponential form, which will help us out later. So the cubed root of the quantity 2x minus 1 squared can be written 2x minus 1 to the 2 thirds power. We are going to try to solve this integral by a basic u substitution. The quantity 2x minus 1 does not have an explicit derivative in the integrand, and though the derivative of the x term, which is 1, can be placed in there, it won't help us. But we can still make a basic u substitution, then construct the integrand around that substitution. If we let u equal the quantity 2x minus 1, then du dx will be 2, then separating differentials, du will be 2 dx, and dx will be half times du. Rearranging the terms of the substitution, u plus 1 equals 2x, and the quantity u plus 1 divided by 2 equals x. Now substituting all of this into the original integral, x will be replaced by the quantity u plus 1 over 2. The quantity 2x minus 1 to the 2 thirds will be replaced by u to the 2 thirds, and dx will be placed by half times du. Combining the terms and distributing the u to the 2 thirds term we get, which we can integrate by the sum and power rules. So using the simple substitution u equal to the quantity 2x minus 1, we have converted the product of a polynomial and radical into the sum of two simple terms. But let's take a step back for a moment and take a look at what would have happened if we had made the u substitution in terms of the isolated x term instead of the quantity 2x minus 1. If we had said let x equal u, then we would have had 2x equal to 2u, and 2x minus 1 would be equal to 2u minus 1. So after that substitution, we would have had u multiplying the quantity 2u minus 1 to the 2 thirds, which is the same as the original integral with u as the variable instead of x. Back to solving our integral, let's apply the sum and power rules to get, which simplifies to, Now, converting back to x's using the original substitution, replacing u's by the quantity 2x minus 1. Then converting back to radical form, we get, and the solution of our integral is 